And now, now, it's Boomer Life, lifestyle discussion designed to make your life more engaging, meaningful, and complete. Celebrating the baby boomer generation, this is Boomer Life on Sea Isle 650. Welcome to Boomer Life on CL 650. I'm Joanne Sutton, and with me today in the studio is Maria Howard, the CEO of the Alzheimer's Society of British Columbia. It's nice to have you here, Maria. Thanks, Joanne. It's great to be here. Excellent. Are you ready for the holidays? Oh, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes two of us, sort of. <laughs> now, for the next hour, we're going to be having a conversation here that will surround around the topics of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So Maria, the last episode, we talked a lot about the future of dementia care with the Alzheimer's Society of BC. And we also talked about Safe Care, which is an organization that the society works with to hold workshops for healthcare providers. We heard the perspective of caregiver and poet Jane Monroe. She wrote a book of poems. It was titled, an award-winning book. It was Blue Sonoma, and it was all about her husband's crossing into Alzheimer's disease. And we also heard of creative ways of providing dementia care for people on the dementia journey, such as a very special dementia village built in the Netherlands. Today, we're going to focus our conversation on fundraising. But before we begin, as always, we would like to remind you as a listener that there's a lot of information online about the Alzheimer's Society of BC, as well as a wealth of resources should you ever need them. So you can visit the website alzheimerbc.org. Maria, this week we're welcoming three very special guests to the show and you and I are going to be talking with them about fundraising. So in your view, why is it so important to get people involved? Fundraising is so essential for the Alzheimer's Society of BC. We know that today there are over 70,000 people who live in the province who um, are impacted by dementia. And, and if you take that number and add in their families and, and their care partners, that, that number expands. And, and unfortunately, we know that that number is going to continue to grow. So the Alzheimer's Society of BC is really committed to ensuring that we have services and support for people in the province to help them on their journey. Our society, um, receives over 85% of its funding through our fundraising and our major grifts. We only receive a very small proportion in our partnerships with the, with the Ministry of Health. So fundraising for us is essential. Um, but it's also a way that people can give back and help in their community in many different ways. Fundraising, obviously, as we all think about, is raising dollars. But fundraising also is raising awareness. It's participating as a volunteer. It's helping in the community. And that grows so many ways to help people with dementia have a better quality of life. Yeah, it's not just about the money. It's education as well. Uh, where do the donations actually go? Because I know a lot of people are concerned about when they're um, donating money to a society. How does the money get used? Well, there are three ways that the, the dollars come into the society, um, or three ways that we use the funds. Uh, through our first link program, that is a um, programs and services, uh, early intervention outreach to people across the, the province so that people who have been uh, diagnosed with dementia um, can begin to be connected to services. So those dollars come and support the many programs and services that we offer around the province. We have 15 different uh, offices in BC, so those dollars support those offices and all the programs and services that people can participate in, not only the people with dementia but their families as well. Uh, we support research. Research is absolutely critical. We have a research program on a national level that we support uh, with funding, but we also support uh, researchers here in BC. And then advocacy and education is also so significant. We really need to keep changing the culture of, of how people see dementia. We need to reduce the stigma, build awareness, and we need to keep advocating to the government about changing policy so that if you are a family impacted by dementia, the supports around you are focused on helping you have a better quality of life. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the events that the Society hosts for fundraising. And on our last program, I think, didn't we have Cliff Ronning? in as a guest talking about the Hockey for Alzheimer's? We just finished up our, our Hockey for Alzheimer's, Scotiabank Hockey for Al Alzheimer's. It was a phenomenal weekend. We had so much fun. Uh, people came out and played uh, Hockey for Alzheimer's and had a great time and we raised um, over $700,000 which is phenomenal. Oh, I've got goosebumps. That's incredible. So what? Uh, what's another event that the Society hosts? Our signature event, the one that we really are the most proud of is our Walk for uh, Alzheimer's. It's um, 
really it's the investors group walk for Alzheimer's. It, it's uh, run throughout the province. We have over 23 uh, different walks that we do and we partner with the investors group to bring the walk to communities to actually help uh, people, you know, come together, raise an awareness, raise dollars and really begin to um, just bring a community movement to how we change the face of dementia. And normally, or traditionally, it's been held in January. And the reason we're talking about it now is there's a date change for this year, isn't there? We have always held the walk in January. January is Alzheimer's Awareness Month across Canada. But it's really important to um, think about Alzheimer's and bring as many people together to support the movement. So the Alzheimer's societies across the, uh, the across Canada um, really want this to be a, a big event for the, the country. And so we've all moved our walks into the spring, into May, so that we can you know bring more people out the, the power of the voice I guess you would say sure the strength of the nation exactly <laughs> so May 1st for BC will be our uh, investors group walk for Alzheimer's well it sounds like a critical event can't wait to participate in this one uh, and then as we continue on to talk about some of the upcomings in our show today we're going to be speaking with Mario Gregorio he's our very first guest and we're going to hear about his experience with a number of fundraising events at the society he is also a person living with vascular dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So we'll be hearing from Mario about his dementia journey, how he stays active as a volunteer, and an Alzheimer's advocate. Also, with Christmas on the horizon, I think Mario has some tips for us uh, to share with our listeners intended for people impacted by dementia to keep the holiday period enjoyable and minimize some holiday-related stress. Mario has been a great uh, supporter of the society. He has been connected with us for a number of years and participated in support groups, but he also is a great advocate for raising awareness and raising dollars. I look forward to that. Now, our second guest joining us today, uh, we're very fortunate to have Sharon Moskalik from Investors Group. Uh, she's here, and they're the title sponsor for Walk for Alzheimer's, which you mentioned earlier. Sharon is going to fill us in on the details about the event, how Investors Group became involved with the society many, many years ago in this very extremely uh, supportive role. Sharon is also going to speak to the personal rewards of participating in the walk and in the evolving relationship with the Alzheimer's Society of BC. But for now, can you give us just a little more background about the walk for Alzheimer's? The Walk for Alzheimer's uh, is held um, in a number of different communities across the province. Um, it is really um, a special time to honour a family who lives in that community and really um, show our appreciation to that family and what they have um, experienced in, in their walk on the dementia journey. We bring together as many people in the community to fundraise and, and go on the walk. It's a fun, exciting time. A lot of the walks have some really creative, fun um, events and activities that are happening around the walk. And it's really focused on also bringing in dollars so that those dollars can directly come back to those communities through the First Link program and, and through again supporting the education. In case you want more information about the Walk for Alzheimer's they have their own website walkforalzheimers.ca. It all sounds like a wonderful opportunity for people to get involved and I've actually done it in the past. I look forward to participating again in the new year. Um, also today in our last segment of the show, we're going to discuss another way to get involved with the society and we welcome our special guest, Patrick Esty. Now, Patrick is the Director of Re Resource Development of the Alzheimer's Society and Patrick's going to be talking about some ideas for people to transform their holiday events into an actual fundraiser. So Maria, can you say why you think that now is really such a great time for giving? The holiday season is a time when we all focus on families and we, we focus on making memories and, and reflecting on memories. And memories is such an important aspect of living the dementia journey. We all want to be remembered who we are and not for the disease. And so it's a time that families can come together and focus on, on the quality memories. And so we really encourage people to think during the holiday time about giving, um, giving and supporting the Alzheimer's Society of BC so that those who are on the dementia journey can have as much support as possible so that they continue can continue to focus on those really positive memories. So are there any other fundraising events that are pertinent to this time of year for the Alzheimer's Society of BC? 
You know, the holiday time is a great time for other creative ideas to raise money for Alzheimer's. We have an event called Anything for Alzheimer's, which is a great opportunity for people to come and think of an event that they would like to do specific to um, maybe it's a Christmas bake sale. Maybe it's some type of um, challenge they might do with their friends over the Christmas holidays, the, ho the holiday season. And then they can actually fundraise and that goes for al Anything for Alzheimer's. So if you go to our website, alzheimerbc.org, and look up Anything for Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, there's uh, all the information you need to, to walk you through that. I think those are some great ideas, and I think we'll expand on that conversation as the show goes on today. Plus, if you want more information, you can always phone the Alzheimer's Society, 604-681-6530. It sounds like it's going to be a really busy show today. I'm looking forward to hearing more from all of our guests. So let's take care of a little bit of station business at this moment. You're listening to Boomer Life on CL650 and a conversation with the Alzheimer's Society of British Columbia. CEO Maria Howard is with us in the studio. And next up, a first-hand account of fundraising by a very special guest who's actually living with the disease. Stay with us. Celebrating the baby boomer lifestyle, this is Boomer Life on CL650.